in the Bhagavad Gita, Shri Krishna says, Nahi jnanena sadrsham pavitra mihavidyate. Arjun, there is nothing as pure in this world as true divine knowledge. So that divine nectar we are going to partake of. The Munduk Upanishad states, Dhanur Grihitva Upanishadam Mahastram Sharam Hupasa Nishitam Sandhita Ayamya Tadbhavikatena Chetasa Laksham Brahma Saumya. It says, Take the bow of the Upanishads, the scriptures. On it, place the arrow of bhakti. Let the edge, the dhar of it be of bhav, loving divine sentiments. With this contraption, go to find the supreme paratpara tattva, the ultimate entity. In other words, you need knowledge and you also need devotion. So in this retreat, the knowledge is going to be from the Narad Bhakti Darshan. It's a very fascinating scripture. It has got the essence of Vedic knowledge that we receive. We need. There is a story in the Puranas. There is one Maharshi Bharadwaj. He once started reading the Vedic scriptures. And he felt that a hundred years was not enough. So he prayed for Indra. And when Devraj Indra appeared, Bharadwaj requested that please increase my lifespan by another hundred years. So Indra bestowed his boon. But then another hundred years also did not suffice to complete his Vedic studies. So he requested another time and yet another time and yet another time. Even after 500 years, he didn't feel he had a mastery of the Vedas. So he requested for one more boon. And this time, Indra came in front of him. And he took three fistfuls and he created, he threw them like this and there were three mountains. So Bharadwaj said, what is he trying to tell me? That my knowledge of the Vedas is like three mountains? So Indra took three fistfuls from that and gave them to him. And said, the knowledge of the Vedas that you have is equal to these three fistfuls. God is infinite and his knowledge is also infinite. If somebody thinks I'll acquire all the knowledge there is, that is as being so simple-minded as somebody today says, I'll get all the knowledge there is on the internet. Now you realize that knowledge is infinite. So similarly, God's divine internet, His infinite knowledge has no beginning and no end. Nevertheless, we are interested in that knowledge which will help us in attaining our desired object. And what is our desired object? Divine love for God. That is what we are interested in. So the 84 sutras that he has written. Sutra means aphorism. Or a succinct saying. Naraji has put the philosophy we need to know. In these 84 aphorisms. Sometimes people ask. That why these little, little aphorisms? Like one of the aphorisms that he has made is Astyeva Mevam. That is all. 
asteva meva that is all that is how it is now people who write commentaries they write 20 page 30 page commentaries vedavyas wrote his brahma sutra so he writes out there athato brahma jigyasa now inquire into the absolute truth janma dyasyataha shastra yonitvat he has written one aphorism and people have written commentaries. So sometimes the question arises, why were these sages so miserly in their usage of words? Why didn't they detail a little more? The answer probably is that in those days they didn't have the written scriptures. Since it was passed down by word of mouth, they made it so short that you could memorize it. And that is convenient for us because we now have the essence of the Vedas in regard to how to attain divine love in 84 short sutras.